And um, he's still getting paid. Why is um, David Gethard still getting paid? What getting he paid for murdering he, somebody. Um, he's getting paid for murdering my brother, and now that's the way a cop gets to get off the street and work inside the police department on administrative duty. I, I want to know why is he even still working? He should be why getting 18 years, 18 years to life. That's what he should be getting, 18 years to life. It pisses me off to know that there, there was this man who was sick, had a seizure, shot sh and, and, and accidentally hit a police officer, but yet this man has 18 years to life. But this police officer who came in here and shot my brother sitting on, on top of the couch, sitting on the couch, he was not standing with a weapon in his hand, just sitting down and you're gonna shoot him right in the chest, straight to the heart. And yet this man who hit this officer that was sick, had a seizure, is gonna get 18 years in jail now, what kind of justification is that for black people in Rochester? That's no justification. And as for the mayor, I mean, he's, he, I mean, he's just worthless. He's just worthless. I don't know him personally. I don't want to know somebody like that. I don't want to know personally because he only came on TV and said there's no amount of words that could bring my brother back. I just want to say, if he's the mayor, it should be justice for all, not justice for the police department and not for the victim of the victim of the family, Bernard Davis. I mean, right now, my mother is home every day. She's crying. She's crying every day. There's not one day we, no, I mean, we can't, I haven't went to work for this week, but I've been down there for this week. None of us can not leave the house. We can't leave her by herself. So that's like, you know, not only has this death caused the yeah. family a uh, painful strain, but it's also a strain on us to know that we can't leave our mother in the house by herself because she's crying every day, and we have to watch her and be with her. We can't even go to work. You know and what I'm saying? I want to know what, could, what kind of, what um, kind of answer... If the mayor was any good, he would have came, you know... Could the mayor give to his three-year-old son? who is every day looking out the window at his thinking car that his dad's and coming thinking home. that his father is coming home. When somebody does him something or hit him, he thinks he's going to tell his father, not knowing that his father is six feet under, who was innocently murdered by David Ganthard, who cannot explain to the family why he was murdered. And didn't even have the... the I want to know what kind of answer didn't even could have you give him when he is crying and acting for his father thinking that he's coming home. Every time someone knock on the door, he think it's his, he think it's Vandy and it's not. What answer could the mayor and David Gathard give to my um, nephew and my niece? Hi, my name is Jamal Lockhart. I am the nephew of Bernard Davis. Bernard was like a brother to me. The gifts he, were, he gave to me were very sweet. When, I, when my mother wasn't home, he helped me do my homework. And when my mother and my mother and my father, he babysitted me and my sisters. I wish he were here now. I miss him very much. I wish I grew up to be like him. How do I feel? It's messed up, man, because they, you know, they try to use the excuse saying that the, the officer tripped over something and still shot the kid. If you trip over something, you understand, if, you, if you're aiming, like I use this hammer and nails, if I trip over something, I'm not gonna shoot nobody directly on point, you understand? So that's just a straight cover up, that's fine. It ain't real, and it definitely ain't right. Rochester police is corrupted, man, straight up, and that's real. I think he needed a little bit more training, a little bit more people skills, and how to deal with a situation that came upon him. In no way uh, you're going to say one thing and then turn around and say another about this happened this way, and then a couple days later say it happened this way. And you're putting doubts in people's minds. What do you expect a, we as a viewer, we as a people, to feel about that situation? That one situation, my opinion is, there's a lot of cover-up.
As usual, on February 15, 2001, a grand jury cleared Officer David Gephardt of any wrongdoing in the killing of Vandy Davis, yet another unarmed innocent victim to die at the hands of the Rochester Police Department.